Good morning guys, welcome to today. This is the snow that we got the last few days. It is actually freezing cold outside. It's minus 11 Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Really cold. Hello. We got Sophie in the car. We're waiting for Gabby, we're driving to the barn. That's how you know it's cold, you guys, when we drive down the five feet to the barn, or it's slippery, or it's muddy. <laughs> Whatever the excuse, we are driving down. Okay, well that was fast. <laughs> a very fast trip. Wait, skip, wait. No, I'm not a skip. skipper. I am not a skipper. <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome to today. Something really weird happened the other day. Did you guys see Gabby and Sam went to pick up Ruby? and they saw a black cat. And then Sam said, black cats are bad luck. Sam, did you say black cats are bad luck? Did you? <laughs> I said that, yeah, but they're not really for me. Well, they're not for me either. They're not bad luck. People just give them that bad image and it, it's hard for black cats to get homes and be loved now because of that. Yeah. So we don't want to, we don't want to, we, anyway. we don't want to send that message, but yeah, so this is what happened. So this is what happened. Laura's going to clean the arena. <laughs> Basically, oh, it's cold. Hi, baby. So basically the kitten, it is here. Oh, so basically they were looking at a black cat and then they decided not to get it. It can't be an outdoor cat anyways. And then, oh, not the black one. And then we came home and minutes later, we now have a black cat on our property. So he's gonna try and get this kitty. <laughs> he won't just come down. Hi, I'm too short. <laughs> but that's our cat. They found them fighting. We think it's a boy because we smelled spray. Um, anyway, this is the new blanket. Remember I told you guys last week that I was gonna put a new blanket on here? Clearly somebody's been standing on it. Yeah, me. Oh. Sophie, we all had a job. You have to go feed the girls outside. Sam and I are gonna clean the, uh, our barn. Don't throw out all the good hay. Oh. Yeah, oh honey, he's like, pay attention to me. Hey, don't push me. <laughs> don't push her. Okay, you're good. Oh. Come here. He went up high. Yeah, he went up higher. He likes it up there probably because he's nervous of the, he's probably nervous of the horses. Haha, <laughs> hello baby girl. Yesterday we fed the horses inside because it was freezing and really windy. There was a storm in the States. We didn't get much snow. We didn't get much snow, uh, but we did get a lot of wind and a lot of cold and a little tiny bit of snow. <laughs> she needs a brush. Anyway, I've been dying to do this new thing and I'm excited to explain it to you, but before I can do that, I have to help clean the arena because the horses were in, it got really messy. My, is freezing. My hands are freezing. We're gonna kick the girls outside. Go with your mama. Whoa, oh my God. Oh. snow even in the barn. That's annoying. I'd run a thousand miles if I could run with you. Mine, mine. <laughs> oh look, there's red, there's buckets here we could have used too. So put a bucket, each standard, there's gonna be three standards. They're each gonna have one bucket over top of them. Step on the wall. Oh. You're weak. I am weak. Yeah, I know. But I used to be strong. One day we will all be weak, you guys. One day, because it's a circle of life. I need one more standard and I don't know why I can't find one. All right, so let me explain first. Okay, so you guys know that, oh, I know she's like, whoa, I love it. So you guys know that I don't have an aptitude for horsemanship. Like I do not know how to train a horse. I hear people talking about training a horse. I'm like, what did you say? Like, I don't understand any of it. But recently I found something. Well, I found it a long time ago, didn't understand it until recently I started to understand um, positive reinforcement training for horses. 
finally felt like people were speaking my language. So when we first started, we made a few mistakes. Um, but lately, uh, we've really been figuring it out and I wanted to do this thing with our kids. So a lot of people will hate on this. Like this is not the conventional way to train horses and a lot of people are confused by it, don't understand it and think it's awful. And But for us, it's been life changing. It's like changed our world with our horses. Oh, so this is not what I want to weave. Look at how good she is. She knows it. She knows everything. She's so innate. Okay, so do you guys see how Sophie is target training her pony? She follows the target. Whoa. <laughs> she follows the target. Sophie directs her where she wants to go. What's your target? My treat. No, your target is your hand. So we make them touch the hand and then they get the treat. All I do is just... Honey. Yeah, Gabby, Honey. it's almost like your whole body is your, your target. But we found this really beneficial because our hands are always with us and it's been really good. So you guys know I've had trouble loading my horse and I finally got her to load beautifully, religiously, um, but I think she's ready to go like the next step and self-load. So I was thinking to myself, like, how am I gonna get her to self-load? And then I came across stationary target training, which is something that I've been wanting to do, and it can be so beneficial in so many ways. So these are stationary targets, and basically getting our horse to, to stand and stay a stationary target. <laughs> oh, this is well, penny number two, you guys. So uh, teaching your horse to how to, uh, to obey you and go and stand at a stationary target can be so beneficial. You can, so by making this stationary target something that feels emotionally pleasurable or positive to a horse can take away some negative feelings. So like say a horse is going to get their shots and they're really afraid of it. If they're target trained to a stationary target, someplace that they feel so emotionally positive about <laughs> we can't find another standard uh, i think we're gonna need it but anyways we are gonna need it. that positive emotion that they have that they've learned to have by the stationary target can set them up for great success getting shots or i can put a stationary target in a horse trailer and tell my horse to touch the, the target and she'll just load up and touch the target and if i do it right and teach her to stand at a target for an indefinite period of time, she should be able to load, touch the target, and stand there and wait for, um, and wait while I like load up the trailer. <laughs> Sophie says, your horses can touch that. Sophie, this is yours over here. I can't do that, <laughs> push it. All right, well go put Honey in her stall because we're only doing three horses at a time. Honey, this is not for you. She's like, oh, that's so rude, let me spin. <laughs> The more I learn, the better I'm able to like explain it to you guys. And I feel like I've done you guys a disservice by not explaining the stuff that we're doing. It just looks kind of like a mishmash of stuff and nobody understands it. But there's this whole community out there of positive reinforcement training for horses and it's phenomenal. And it's, it's age old, science based and amazing. And I love that community. Like I finally feel like I'm in the right place not for everybody and that's okay and every horse has a different something that they get positive feelings from it's not always treats it can be a toy especially for gelding penny you want to work gracie wants to work come on pen penny if you want to work touch the target come on you coming your hay will wait come on come on don't make me look bad I also love being able to like invite my horse to work and that's like one of the things with this training is that you ask your horse if they want to work and a lot of it's liberty so there's no like good girl thank you thank you for coming come on you coming you coming she's like it's icy out here good girl it's not gonna work oh my goodness you, you're get one of those standards and put it over top of it if you can. Actually, we have bigger buckets. It might work with those things. Oh. I worked wish. Oh my gosh, where's my treat? So what you're going to do is say, 
Oh, well, you have to get a lot of treats. Good girl! And also get the clicker. I really want to get more clickers. She was doing that the entire time. Yeah, our horses literally already know this stuff. She, she knows it. She went up and smelled it. Okay, so what your job is to say target. Target. And have her touch it. Target. Can you do it? Go get more treats first. Target. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> You're a genius. You're a genius. Grace is like, fine. You're not giving me a treat. I'll go touch the other target. That's Penny's target. Okay. We're just waiting for Gabby to come and take over her horse. No. No. You have to get her to touch it. <laughs> She's so good. Touch it. Target. All right. Let's see if my horse, my horse is going to do it. My horse, target. 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 Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Target, Penny. Target. 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 <laughs> Gracie, you're in the wrong house. At the wrong target. Yeah, you can put it on the ground if you'd rather. So the idea is to get them to... T Good girl! I wasn't watching, but I, I saw her touch it. So if we were using clickers... Touch it. Target. 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 Nope. Touch the target. So it's harder than I thought. Penny, target. Target. Look, right here. Target. Right here. Touch this. Come on. Penny's got icicles on her cheek. Target. Target. Right here. Right here. Right here. No, right here. Look. Back up a little. Back up a little. Thank you. Target. Yeah. Target. Touch the target. Right here. I'm going to put a little bit of treats on there and see what happens. Whoa. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> I'm going to take that as she touched it so that I can at least teach her. <laughs> Good girl. Target. Good girl. Whoa. Target. No. Target. Target. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do Penny a couple more times and I'm going to come and see you guys. Whoa. Target. So then, eventually, when she becomes really comfortable with touching the target, I'll do this. So this is the next step. Okay, so watch. Back up. Back up. Back up, please. Back up. Good girl. Back up. No, keep going. Okay, finally something that Penny excels at. So now I'm going to say, target, Penny. Target. 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 Good girl. So that's like step one and step two. And there are a couple, there's like, there's another step where you teach them to stand longer, but this is like the preliminary. So I'm gonna go and see if these guys need help because I'm a pro at this. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> Penny, don't attack the target while I'm gone. Penny, look. Target. Target. She doesn't care about the bucket. Look. She only wants your hand. Target. So what happened with me, back up. Back up, thank you. Target. Target. No. Penny's still over there touching the target. Penny likes these kind of games. <laughs> okay, Gracie, come on. Target. Target. <laughs> target. Good girl. Good girl. Look it. Gabby, go get her. She did it. Good girl. Target. Say target. I mean, it wasn't her target. Good girl. Okay, Penny. Good girl. Target. <laughs> So if I had a clicker with me, it would be great because I'd be able to click the second she touches the target when I say target and it would be better. <laughs> Penny! <laughs> I 
<laughs> with the target. My hug. <laughs> but you know what? That's kind of good. She's I touching just, it with her foot. I broke her. <laughs> she's broken. I told her to stand on stuff and she's broken. Yeah. Come over here. Okay, so I'm going to try this new thing. Penny, target. Target. Good girl. So I just, I just completed like almost, I just sent her to the target from far away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My God. All right. Penny, we need better targets, man, because she's getting crazy. Did she do it? She just did it. Yeah, well, sometimes you have to do that when you're starting. Gracie's gonna do it, target. <laughs> so you're supposed to teach them to stand at the target for a long time. I think we should make a permanent target and leave it in here, like a um, punching bag. You know, those punching bags that people have because Penny is really enjoying this. It's like a, a mixture of all her favorite things. She likes to push things and just... <laughs> All right, so Willow's doing well. No, Willow, leave it. And Gracie's in the target. <laughs> so Willow's a good one that I can think of that like she hates getting her shots. Back up, good girl. Okay, target, Penny. Target. Good girl! <laughs> Don't kill the target. Okay. Good girl. This kind of training makes me feel so amazing. Like I love seeing her connect things and, oh, target, good girl. Look, Gracie, target. Did she push it? Okay. Make her back up a little. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, Penny is like obsessed with this. Just when I thought Penny wouldn't love something else as much as she loves pushing the ball. She, she say, the okay, we'll say good girl. And so look at how quietly she's standing at the target though. Penny, 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 target. Penny, look, this target. Penny, Penny. <laughs> Penny, target. Penny. Penny, this target, target. Penny, over here. Look, this target. Target, you have to touch the target. Target. Touch the target. Touch the target. Target. Right here. You have to touch it. Whoa. <laughs> Good girl. All right. So, Gabby, how did you feel that exercise went? Um, not good. Your horse isn't, isn't connecting it yet. She needs, like, I think what we need. Oh, she did it. Good girl. Good girl. What? Target. Target. Target, target. Good girl, yeah, good girl. All right, so she just needed something different. She just needed it to be on the ground. Target, target. Right here, look. Target, you have to touch it. Touch it, target. Back up. Gracie, target, target. Look down here, Gracie. Gracie, look, target. Target, target, touch it. Good girl. She's still not quite getting it. Good girl. <laughs> what? Is my, my horse, my horse taking over. <laughs> Come here, Penny. So this is why I use my hand as a target. Penny, Penny, Penny. Come here, see, so I can get her to touch my target. There we go. <laughs> Not everybody wants to be with you. All right, let's see. She pressed it like three times. Um, when I was bought, when Penny was bought, I was. Target. 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 Good girl. You have to make a big noise or like a click or something because we don't have our clicker with us. I don't know where it is. It's in the barn. Is it hanging up right outside the door? Where? By the food. Anyways, we're gonna. Do, I'm gonna get us some more clickers. Good 
Good girl. I'm gonna get us some more clickers and then we're gonna be able to click. And I have an idea for our treat pans, that, treat buckets that we can carry around with us so that we can. It's called the fanny pack. Well, Target. it's different. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna Target. make these ones. Target. That are easier. Target. Anyway, that's it, that's it. I wanted to do this with Penny. I thought that it was like very worthwhile for her, especially with tra trailer training. And there are so many other things that I wanna do. Um, I find it really fun to be working with them like this. And I wanna just do it for like a few minutes each time, leave them wanting more. And uh, my horse especially loves it. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm coming out. Next time when we do honey, um, we'll put all the other horses away. And maybe the next time we and do even it. even honey. And even Penny, especially because, Penny, because Penny kind of takes over because it's her specialty. She's over there. They're both they're both licking their lips and like, come on, let's do it some more. I love this game. Yeah, they like treats. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Nothing in life is worth doing unless you get some kind of satisfaction from it. Think about it. Like everything that we do, we get something for and like even with like the m bigger the reward the more people will try and animals are the same and sometimes I get comments from people saying you treat your horses like dogs well yeah we actually do and I think it's amazing and I love it and I think it's been working for us really well but that doesn't mean to say that Traditional horse training is important too, and most of our horses have really good traditional training. I mean, Sophie taught Willow everything, and she's new to being trained, but traditional horse training and ground manners and groundwork are so important. It's not just about fun and positive reinforcement training. For positive reinforcement training is just like a huge tool that we've stumbled across that's helped us engage our horses in a positive way and I love it. And it's not for everybody and I get that. It is fun, it is for me, I love it. And I'm so excited to see what we can get our horses to do using this. But I'm excited that we did this today and it was so much fun. And anyway, we were headed back up to the house. So uh, today was the first day that I left Ellie in her crate while we left the house. I've been slowly increasing the amount of time that I left her in her crate. <laughs> I left her like just for minutes at a time to start and then move to like a couple of minutes and then like five minutes and then like 10 minutes. And today when I put her in her crate, she didn't even make a sound. She's like, okay, fine. I get this. I'll get out again soon. She's super smart. I just thought that you were going to get through a whole vlog without me talking about Ellie. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Hoot said I should enjoy my journey with her. And I just wanted to say that's exactly what's happening. Like... I am enjoying every single second with her. And I love the time of year that I got her. Like I have at least two months before we start getting outside and getting really busy on our farm and starting to go to shows and we're putting in our garden again this year. I have at least two months to relax and then enjoy. It has been like, it's revived my soul, you guys. It's like having a baby. It's been phenomenal. No noise. Well, hi, Allie Belly. Don't you know that you're beautiful?